Hello gamers, Mage Hammer here for another edition of tonight on Mage Hammer's Game Table, where tonight I am now going to show all of you a, another video in my series featuring my four dice solo game engine. And uh, this one's gonna be four dice Cthulhu. And uh, in the past I did four dice fancy, which I gave those rules up for free over on one of my, um, on the video, the explanation video for that game. It's had really great reception from fans of the channel, so go ahead and check that out. Merry Christmas. Uh, and then I also uh, just featured my superhero version of the game by great demand by uh, friends of the channel. So you can check that out and see the variations and the decisions I made, game design, design decisions I made for that. And now I'm presenting you my Four Dice Cthulhu. This is actually the second game I designed in the Four Dice uh, solo game engine game. This is a Four Dice Cthulhu solo Four Dice game and um works pretty similarly it's the same engine that features it all but they all have their own little tweaks so i'm going to track uh this game has three investigation phases two combat phases and a final showdown and i'm going to track those phases this way that way i won't have to set one of these to one two three uh, i'll just do it with this die because it's cool um and then uh then they have two combat phases where they have to fight the minions cultists and monsters of the mythos and then they have to fight off an elder god who is about to make its way into the world into our world and destroy it and if they can defeat that elder god then they save the world i have nine character types some very interesting design decisions uh, i don't know which ones are randomly going to come up but uh i think i'm going to do four for the explanation video and then i'm going to do four for an actual playthrough all in this video so let's see who we get the first time okay we get a criminal I haven't named them yet. A detective, a reporter, and a mystic. Okay, so we'll see how this goes. Criminal has an ability, may reroll an investigation check or combat check once per investigation or combat. Uh, the detective may force one of the clues to reroll once per investigation or an opponent to reroll once per combat. The reporter rolls two dice for an investigation and takes the best result. And the mystic uh, may change any one clue to any result the player chooses once per investigation so we're going to see how that all plays out these here are the dice that are going to represent the clues they're like shrouded in secrecy they're kind of like transparent and smoky so i think that's kind of cool and then we'll see where this goes from here okay so i got to set up the dice for these characters uh we'll make the criminal this one and then we'll make the detective this one and we'll make the mystic the red one and we'll make the reporter these black and green ones okay so uh, you're gonna have to pick up how the game goes or goes but if you've watched my other videos you have an idea of how it's gonna go and so here we go so we're gonna roll the clues and see we're heading to there so now we have to roll our investigators here we go And let's see, that's so may reroll an investigation. So she's definitely gonna reroll an investigation roll this time. Didn't really help. Oh no, it did, it created double, so that's good. He can force one of the clues to reroll. He's gonna do that. One of these ones, he's gonna have them reroll. Okay. Alright. Oh, that reporter rolls two dice, takes the best result. Oh, he's gonna take that result. And she may change any clue to the result that she chooses. Um, we're gonna turn this to a five. No, keep that one. We're gonna turn this to a five. All right, so I think we're pretty good here. In this game, if we had not eliminated all these clues, found all these clues, a time token would have been added to the enemy and that could have been, and that adds to more problems down the road. Okay, so anyway, so a five defeats a five, or finds a five, doubles finds another clue, uh, three finds a clue, one, so they each get a mythos knowledge token. You can call it a clue for short if you want. So they each get a clue, a mythos knowledge token, which can be traded in maybe at the end of the case if they survive uh, for 
artifacts to help them in their next case. So now we move to our second investigation. How's that look on camera? Can't tell. Can't see it where it is. Guess we're good. All right, so and let's see where these clues are hiding this time. All right, so this is the second one. The reporter rolls two dice, takes the best. He's going to take that four. All right, so not too bad. Also, if we fail to find all the clues in the first try, they have to make a sanity test. So we'll give, cross that bridge when we get to it. I mean, what would a Cthulhu game be without some kind of, uh, you know, corruption or mental attacks? Okay, so um, looking pretty good. She's going to change. The Mystic's going to change. That was a three, right? Yeah. It's going to change this to a two. And um, I think we've got it. We don't even need to use the detective or the criminal's abilities. So four defeats a four. Doubles defeats the one, three defeats three, and two defeats two. Yes, good. So, so far, they are cakewalking through this investigation. So, on to the third investigation. Okay, here we go. See where the clues are hidden. One, two, three, four. Wow, straight. All right, here we go. Guess he's going to keep the one of those rolls. All right, so this one... Okay, and this is a learning game, so, you know, I'm going to play another, I'm going to play another round through this, so I'm just kind of talking my way through this. Okay, so, uh, she hasn't used her ability this turn, we had to reset for this third investigation. All right, so, she is going to turn this two to a six, and if that's the case, then we have, oh, I forgot to give him their... Mythos knowledge token, see? That's why I'm doing the run through first. You guys get a feel for it, and then I'll play through and hopefully won't make any mistakes in the second run through. And I think this is it. One defeats one, six defeats six, three defeats three, and four defeats four. All right. So they now, just like in Four Dice Fantasy, they uh, might get yet another clue, or this could actually could have found an artifact on their uh investigation so yes two of them found artifacts so the reporter and the detective found artifacts now let's see if they are um mystic shields or if they are elder signs they are both mystic shields so they now have a mystic shield each that they can spend to re-roll a investigation or combat roll or a also a save roll so they're very important but they are spent they're gone an elder sign is not um, so they can re-roll either a combat, save roll, or sanity roll, or investigation roll. So one-time deal, but they have, they have Mystic Shields up, so that'll help. Okay, and so these two, though, get just knowledge. All right, so now we shift to combat. Now, as they've gone and investigated things, they did it in a very timely manner, so that's going to work out for them. They are now going to go up against... The uh, monsters, minions, and cultists of the mythos who are trying to stop the investigators from their them fulfilling their plans. So there's four dice. And they don't get to add any more because they were timely. So pull out these monster dice. And they have to defeat them. Okay, here we go. Now, the mystic's power no longer is as powerful. The criminal still gets to re-roll her rolls, and the detective can force one of them to re-roll as well after they see what their rolls are. But the reporter only rolls two dice for investigations, not combat, and the mystic no longer doesn't do anything with combat except tries to fight her best with her die. So here we go. All right, not too bad. Not too bad at all for this first round of combat. All right, so... Since we got a three here with the, uh, oh, that's the criminal, uh, the reporter, we're going to, um, oh, yeah, the reporter got a three, so she is going to re-roll her combat roll, and that helped, that helped quite a bit, okay, and the detective right now 
yeah, right now they're defeating these monsters. So they don't, they don't need to use the detective's ability. Uh, six defeats a six, three defeats a three, doubles defeats a four, doubles defeats a two. Wow. Okay, so man, this is making this game look really easy. My play tests <laughs> were not that easy. All right, so they move into another round of combat. Let's see what those were. And plus they didn't have any... They, they really did well in their investigations, so yay team. That also, because there'd be more dice added if they hadn't. All right, so combat, here we go. Um, she is going to re-roll her die. Oh, same thing. Happens to me a lot. And the detective can force one of them to roll. He's going to force that three to roll. To a one. Didn't really help either. All right, so we're going to apply the uh, results of four defeats of four, one defeats a one, but that's it. Now things get crazy. Now they have to roll a save throw, a save roll, or be killed. So the Mystic rolled a one, and she doesn't have anything that can save her. Nobody has any abilities that will save her, so she is dead. Removed from the game. Her clues will remain, the Mystic knowledge she gained will remain for the party, but she is now out of the game, defeated by the minions of evil. Now the rest of the remaining ones have to make a sanity test or a corruption test, I guess I'll call it, or sanity, doesn't matter. Uh, here we go. And they all make it, so they're safe there. Whew. Okay, so now they got to make another encounter roll. And... Oof. Okay, so fours defeats a four, doubles defeats the one. So their combat round is over. Now they've moved into their final showdown. All right, so what the final showdown is, it's their six dice and put each of these, these tentacle dice. This is These dice represent the actual uh, Elder God making its way into our world, and they're going to try to shut the gate on it by defeating it, by defeating its tentacles. And if they can do that... Um, it's six dice and two and one of these is at a six and I have to roll the other ones these dice roll in the dark by the way they're pretty cool I've had them in other videos I can't remember what that was so I'll re-roll it oh wow okay cool so now we're going to go into combat now a couple things change here one for the final showdown um they are going to have to, A, um, it works normally. We cross off the tentacles of the creature as it makes its way into our world through its gate. Uh, the save roll, um, they make a save roll as per normal. And then I think I probably should have them make two save rolls. Did I change the rules? I think I was telling, talking to myself and having them make two save rolls. Or maybe I felt that was too too powerful. Anyway, and then they have to make a sanity uh, sanity roll. And if they fail that uh, roll, then they're out of the game. If they had failed their sanity rolls in the earliest investigations or during the monster attacks, uh, they would have just been temporarily there and they would only missed one roll, but then they'd be back. But here against the... Um, Elder God, they are they are gone. If they they're they're saying in after this they'll be put in insane asylum if they survive. Okay, so here we go. This is the 1920s, by the way. All right, so she's getting rid of one. He's getting rid of one. She's gonna try to uh, re-roll hers to get doubles, and she didn't. And that actually made it worse. But that's the way it goes. And this is it for encounter. You only get to use them once. He's going to force one of them to re-roll. Force this one to re-roll. Oh, my goodness. Huh? Changed it a bit. All right. Well, so one defeats a one. And a four was going to defeat a four, but now it's gone. Three. Yeah. So, okay. So they got problems. So they're going to have to make a save roll. And they all make it. And they have to make... And then yeah, I'm also playing around with the idea of maybe having the save rolls against them be harder. Like they they go out on a one or a two, but I don't know. And then they have to make a sanity check or a corruption check, whatever you want to call it. Ugh. So the detective 
an opponent reroll once per combat. Okay, uh, but he's going to use his Mystic Shield to try to avoid that fate, and he does. Thank goodness. Okay, so back at it. Uh, six, four, three. They have no more abilities that really apply. So, uh, six defeats a six. And that's it. <laughs> okay. So they have to make a save roll. And right now, the criminal, um, she only gets to make a, only gets to change an investigation check or a combat check. Okay. She doesn't have anything to save her. So she has been slain by the Elder God. And her... Mystic knowledge that she recorded will be open to the party after. Okay, so she is out of action. And now the sanity test, they both make it. Okay. All right, so a four and a one. Uh, that defeats nothing. So save check, both make it. Sanity test, both make it. All right, five and a three. Doesn't get rid of anything. Save test. <laughs> and sanity test. Okay, good. Uh, here we go. Oh, there we go. No, nothing. Nothing yet. Holy moly. Two sixes and two twos that they must defeat. Save test. No problem. Sanity check. No problem. Okay, here we go. Oh. Got rid of a six, a six, and doubles defeats another. Finally managed to get a blow in on these things. And now they have to make a, oh, but the reporter can use his mystic shield to reroll that. And he is fine. And now let's see if they maintain their minds. Yes. Now they go in an encounter and they don't defeat it. Save. Oh, that's it. Reporter's done. He is done. And now we have to roll to see if the detective maintains his mind. He does. Oh, nope. Save. Yes. Still has his mind. Nope. Save. Yep, still good. Nope. Oh, there it is. He's out. Gone. He has been defeated with the rest of his party. So, boom. They lost. All right, so that was uh, kind of an explanation of the rules and a playthrough. Now I'm going to play a game. Um, you've already seen those four, so I'll set those aside, and we'll see what other four... Uh, archetypes characters come up for the second half of this video all right i don't think i made too many these uh myths myth, uh, they can be turned in for uh, mystic shields and elder signs after a case if they survive and then they can uh, go on other cases if they want they get experience point tokens like they did in the um four dice fantasy but uh yeah I, in my play test, I played it two or three times last night and only once did someone survive. <laughs> so, all right. So we got a soldier. We've got an adventurer. We've got a sorcerer. And we've got the doctor. Now, I didn't have my most, um, my most controversial design choice here, but that's all right. I just have to wait till later for it to be revealed. All right. So. Soldier will give this die. He rolls two dice for combat and takes the best result. So we'll save that for him later. The adventurer, uh, they may reroll a save roll once per encounter and they can find artifacts on a five or a six. So that's, that makes, I think that tracks, right? Uh, we'll give them this. Then uh, the sorcerer is, may change any one opponent or tentacle to any result player. So basically a combat version of the mystic. The mystic found uh, clues because she's able to see them with her sight, quote unquote. And then the doctor will be these. Target of Escamory wrote this is basically the cleric from uh, cleric from kind of from five di uh, four dice fantasy. Okay, so let's get into the investigation phase and we'll see what happens to this crew. Okay, so those are the clues we got to find. Let's see if they can find them. Not a very clue-finding crew. This may be a little tough. All right. Nobody can manipulate anything at this point. Because it's all investigation. His combat, combat, and he saves people. All right, here we go. So, uh, three and a four. Defeat to three and a four. No doubles. So, that's it. So, now they have to make a sanity test. 
and or go temporarily um, temporarily that they, they won't be participate in the next roll so oof two of them fail interesting the adventurer may reroll a save roll that's not a save roll it is a sanity uh, roll it's a different thing um, the doctor can have one of them reroll and right now I guess the adventurer is more valuable. Doesn't matter. Oh, they're both. All right. So they are basically out of the next investigation role. All right. So now back to investigating. Oh, and we add a time token. Yes. Time token. Can't forget about the time tokens. All right. So the five is sort of five. So that was good. Okay. But now they have to make a sanity test and they're fine so these two come back in for this next round here and add their uh themselves to the investigation oh and that yeah yeah and so they weren't able to defeat it so that's another time token all right and so six defeats six, and so they're they're out of that. So they're into their second investigation. There's already two time tokens. So let's see where the clues are hidden this time. Okay. All right. So four defeats of four. Five defeats of five. Fines, fines, not defeats. They find in the two defeats or finds a two and doubles finds the final clue together. All right, so they avoided time tokens that time. And in each case, they have now received two Mythos Knowledge tokens. Each. Put these right here. Okay. Now into their third investigation. Will they get more time tokens? We shall see. All right, so they're investigating. Oh, not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, so the one defeats or finds the one. A five finds a five. Doubles finds one of these sixes, but they have one left, so that adds a time token. And they need to make a sanity test. Oh my gosh! All right, so the doctor is gonna have, I guess it doesn't matter, uh, him, the adventurer reroll. All right, so we lost him for now, and he's already used his ability too. So we'll do this. Well, no, we'll do this. Okay. So for now, he's out for the next roll, um, but at least he was able to save the adventurer from that. So here's the investigation roll. Oh my goodness. So doubles defeats that. So that's good. But yeah, I added the time token. Yeah. Okay. So he is no longer. He's no. He's back to himself. Let's see if they each get, a, see if they get a, ooh, that'll help. The adventurer finds on five, six, but rolled a six anyway. And the soldier got one. Let's see if they're shield tokens or elder signs. They are both shield tokens. Okay. All right. So they'll take those into their first combat. And here we go. So we're into the combat. And now in the combat, we have to add, uh, so there's going to be seven minions slash horrible things from the shadows in their first combat. So it'll get a lot tougher. All right. And so the soldier rolls two during this contest and the sorcerer can change one. So that'll be good. And these two got tokens. All right, here we go. He takes the best one. He's going to take that five not terrible uh the sorcerer is gonna turn nothing he doesn't need to turn anything. he's gonna save that power all right so uh five defeats of five five defeats of five five defeats of five four defeats of four doubles defeats that so for their first combat they did pretty well okay so they still have to make a save test and they also have to make a sanity test because the monsters they are fighting they're seeing horrible things and so the doctor needs to re-roll himself and he does but that was his use so far all right so now back to the combat 
and it looks like we now have to use the sorcerer's ability here. Um, four defeats of four, doubles defeats of five. So boom. They don't get any of the rewards at this point because these are no. I guess they could get knowledge from combat, combating. The, yeah, you know what? Let's give them tokens. I think I've gone back and forth on that. So. I guess I guess you don't have to give them to them for combat. So you want to make the game harder if you decide to play a campaign because then they'll have fewer resources to pull from in between. All right, so for the next combat encounter, seven dice again. They've been able to marshal their forces. And let's see how our team of investigators does against this crew. Um, he's going to take that six. Nice, okay. And all right, so the sorcerer is gonna turn one of these twos to a four. And here we go. So a six defeats a six. Doubles defeats a five. Two defeats a two, four defeats a four. So they have to make a save test. Good, easy peasy so far. And sanity test. So the sorcerer sits out for this next round of combat and is not able to use any abilities, but he's already used his abilities, so that worked out. And, hmm, doesn't matter. Okay, put that one aside. All right, so five defeats a five, and then doubles defeats another one, but they still have to make a save roll, and they have to make a sanity test. All right, so there you go. All right, so the sorcerer is back to help defeat this one. And they got doubles to defeat it, so he does. His power has already been used anyway. So, but yeah, so defeated. Good. And I'll give them mythos tokens because I'm going to be generous. And they also will get a mythos token if they defeat the elder god, which will decide whether they find more artifacts or not. Okay. All right. So for the final showdown. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da da da. Sorry. It's final countdown. A little different. All right, so he gets two dice there. Okay, three and six. All right, so we're in pretty good shape here. All right, so he is going to use that six. This is pretty good. He can turn a tentacle to match whatever they need it to be. So he's gonna turn this to a three. All right, so six defeats six, doubles defeats that one, three defeats three. All right, so they need to make a save test. All right, so he is gonna use his Mystic Shield to reroll that, and he does. And then they're going to make a, remake a sanity test. All right, so the adventurer doesn't get to redo sanity tests, only gets to do, oh, we're gonna save the doctor's ability. Now, yeah, no, we better do the doctor now in case he goes down. So she's gonna re-roll her sanity test and she is, uh, now she's gonna use this to re-roll and she survives. Woo, okay, because if you go insane fading the main creature, you're out of the game. You lose your mind, like almost literally. All right, um, back to it. All right, he's gonna use doesn't matter. Oh, great. Two defeats of two. I guess that's it. So they have to make another save roll. And they have to make a sanity test. Sanity test has traditionally been what it's called. Because this is 1920s. Oof. Everybody made it. Oof. All right, here we go. And uh, one defeats a one, doubles defeats a two. They have defeated the Elder God. Wow, and that was actually a little easier. So yeah, I think um, playtesting this, I might make you have to make additional saves for every one of these special guys that are special dice that are there. So I'll make them like the leader dice from Four Dice Fantasy. I think I may have written it in there. I can't remember, but maybe I didn't, but I'm going to definitely add that. These three dice will be, quote unquote, the leader dice. They'll be the main part of the Elder God. These will be the tentacles. Um, or if I felt that that was too easy, maybe I could add some more. But 
remember the first crew <laughs> didn't have a lot of combat heavy stuff and they died and made it through the investigation part so it may also depend on the makeup of your party so they have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen so they could spend 12 on a uh, reusable on mystic shield and then bank the rest put it in a bank until they need it if they were to go on they'd each get an experience point token they made it pretty handily so yeah i think i'm going to change that rule that they have to make multiple save tests against that and also probably multiple and maybe just a sanity test for each one or a extra sanity test period because it's an elder god even though i already thought having a sanity test be really powerful in that they're eliminated if they fail it you know i don't know we'll see um but i think definitely going to make some tweaks to the final showdown i don't think it's i don't think it's strong enough i know i know the other party the other party uh didn't make it but uh it, depending on the makeup of each team um cthulhu games are supposed to be harder or hard so and pretty hard for the time tokens i might also have the time tokens add more tentacles too i think that's another good option for me to use so there's more of them for them to defeat so and then again you know you can make this game as tough as you want i can make this the basic uh the basic game and then add you know optional uh difficulty rules like i've just already been discussing so you know i could pretty much do anything i want with it it's a solo game anyway but uh, i'm always looking for my own kind of challenge and uh, so, yeah, I'm going to keep my professor card a secret until uh, he comes up naturally. So uh, in the meantime, hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. All you Cthulhu fans out there. Uh, it, I think it has a nice, a nice Cthulhu feel to it. Um, and uh, so that is Four Dice Cthulhu. It's a little dice horror game. Hopefully you enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed designing and playing it. And uh, let me know if you want to see some more of these, uh, see more of these run throughs. Do you want to see more fantasy? Do you want to see superhero? Do you want to see Cthulhu? Which one do you want to see the most? Maybe I'll put a poll up on my channel once this comes out and we'll see where we're at. And maybe I'll do more of these or maybe I'll move on to something else if you want. Uh, well, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Thank you for watching so much. I just can't, I can't stress that enough. So until next time, keep on rolling dice and playing games. Mage Hammer out.